the formidable robot. On the 1st of January 2001 at 12.30 p.m., an incident happened on the BBC and PBS Kids Network. During the intro segment of the BBC's popular preschool show, Teletubbies, there was a hijacking that had terrified kids and adults. Now hijackings are nothing new, in fact there are many hijackings in Disney networks that have been documented over the years, from the Max Headroom incident to the Wyoming incident. There are ones that had or had not been reported yet. This is one of them. This is a brief transcript of the two incidents. Individuals will not be mentioned for privacy reasons. Transcript 1, BBC Hijacking, January 1, 2001. On January 1, 2001, the episode that was playing at the time was Trikes. In this episode, Poe tried to ride her scooter into Home Hill and Dipsy had come down the slide. Later, Dipsy and Poe hugged each other while the magic windmill spun. Later, the Teletubbies watched the children have fun riding their trikes. Poe is still riding her scooter and the other Teletubbies want to have a go, some express mild negatives, but it was fine in the end. But during the intro sequence as the sun baby rose from the hills, the audio was replaced by different intervals of noise which nerved parents and scared children around Great Britain who were tuning into the BBC Children's Network. It was reported that the intervals had a rate of 300 Hz to 2400 Hz. Transcript 2, PBS Kids Hijacking, January 1, 2001. Just like the incident at the BBC, PBS Kids also had a problem with their episode of Trikes. While the same thing happened with the audio, the visuals of the Sun Baby were off. It paused at the Sun Baby while it rose and was cut to a more disturbing version of the Sun Baby. From what the parents described is that the brightness was dark, the contrast was high, the baby's mouth stretched to a creepy smile cheek to cheek, and the eyes were now sockets with realistic eyes looking straight at you. Then it cut to another version, this time more contrastable and more deformed, while the audio stayed the same. Some people reported hearing a baby crying in the background, but it was slow and sounded like it came from a radio. Then it all cuts to black. After the incident, the BBC and PBS kids cut off their networks and had to apologize to the parents and children who were traumatized about the incident. As of right now, there is no footage or evidence of the incident, except the screenshot of the disturbing baby face and the audio in both hijackings. Now, there is only one question left in this mystery. Who caused the hijacking of January 1, 2001? No one knows to this day and frankly ever will know.